on Decatur's north side. In a nice apartment for people with disabilities, Kelly Suzowitz is looking back on her job at Walmart that spanned many years. At 20. In July, Kelly was called in to meet with her manager at the Decatur Walmart near the local airport and told she was out of work. He said that there was no job for me to do. They also clocked her out an hour early and she had to sit there at Walmart and wait till her, her city bus came and picked her up. Fran Tonzer is Kelly's mother. Fran has a stack of correspondence and made phone calls even to a Walmart lawyer who hung up on her. And it shocked me and I said, what? And he said, she's done. And I said, but you haven't even heard my story. He screamed at me, he said, I said, she's done. Welcome to Walmart. It's a similar story across the country. Walmart eliminating greeter positions and changing them to customer host roles, requiring the ability to lift a certain amount of weight, a job many disabled people don't have the ability to do. They don't have the physical ability at all. In a corporate release, the company cites the competitiveness of the retail industry and says it will try to place the disabled in different jobs. Sure. Kelly received a letter saying to contact her Walmart to see what jobs are open, but when her mother called, she was told... She said that there's no job. No job, as Kelly looks for answers for the I-Team indicator. She wants to work. She has cried many, many days since July over this. Doug Wolf, WAND News. Kelly Bourne with a disability? Yeah.